Hey everyone, I'm so glad that you're here for another week of how to train your emotions. In this series, we're talking about why it's important to train our emotions because if we aren't careful, our emotions can get away on us and we can land ourselves in some serious trouble. Throughout this series, we're talking about anger, fear, and sadness, and the importance of having joy in our lives. We've already talked about anger and fear. Today, we're gonna to be talking about when we are sad or sadness. Our big answer is going to get us started for today. If you don't know what the big answer is, the big answer is the answer to the big question. That's the one that you get when you get picked up from Club 252. So whether that's your mom, dad, grandma, auntie, pet chinchilla, lizard, or unicorn, whoever's coming to pick you up, ask something along the lines of, what did you learn in church today? And to that, you give them the big answer. Our big answer for today is knowing God loves me helps when I am sad. Our memory verse comes from the book of Romans. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him. Romans 15, 13, part A. So I've been thinking about something, actually wondering about something. I've been wondering, why do people put sad scenes into kid movies? Why would anyone put a scene into a kid's movie where a favorite character gets badly hurt or sick or even dies? Let's take The Lion King, for example. Simba's father dies. Do we really have to see that? Do we have to watch Simba trying to wake up his dad after he's been trampled by the wild beasts? Or more recently in Frozen 2? Well, just in case you haven't seen it yet, I won't spoil anything for you. Sometimes kids movies don't actually have something sad happen, but they make you think something sad has happened. Even How to Train Your Dragon plays with our emotions. Let's check out this scene. No! No! <laughs> Hiccup survived. So why put us through all these emotions? I don't like it very much, but sadness is a part of life. Sad things happen in our everyday just as they do in movies. Sometimes things turn out to be okay, like Hiccup. Sometimes, like Simba's dad, things aren't so okay. No matter how things turn out in movies or in life, we find our peace knowing God loves us and is with us when we are sad. You know, Jesus felt sadness too. He had a close friend, Lazarus, who died before Jesus could get to him to heal him. All of Lazarus' friends and family were brokenhearted over his death. The Bible tells us that even Jesus cried over the death of his friend. A lot of Lazarus' loved ones were confused and hurt that Jesus had not come sooner and wondered why he took so long to come to help when he knew Lazarus was sick. They were sad that Jesus didn't arrive in time to heal his friend. What's important to know is everything Jesus did was according to his plan, including waiting to come and see Lazarus. Jesus wanted to give his followers, including us, a visual picture of how only he can take sadness and turn it into joy. When Jesus finally arrived, he went to the tomb and healed Lazarus. Jesus knows what it is to be sad. And it's, important, it's hard to be sad, but what's important for us to know is that when we are sad, Jesus is near us. Here's what it looks like for us. I have three dogs. Mac is the oldest, he's the one in the middle. Elle is the only girl on the left, and Pip, he's the baby. I love them all very much. But did you know that they can feel sadness and loss just like us? Today, I brought with me their favorite toy. <coughs> this is Mr. Chicken. All three of the dogs love Mr. Chicken. And when this toy, only this one, is being played with by one of the dogs, the other two cry and whine and beg. They get sad because they don't understand why their toy is gone and someone else has it and they can't have it. Well, just like my dogs, our sadness can feel the same. When we lose someone close or something bad happens or something we don't understand, we can think, 
why can't things be the way that they were? Why can't we have our loved ones back? Or why does it have to be this way? We don't understand and it hurts our hearts. It would be awesome if Jesus would bring our loved ones back like he did Lazarus. It would be awesome if every prayer for healing was answered the way we want, but that's not the case. We will all lose someone we love and we will all be sad at some point. Or something will happen that will make us super sad and we may even question God, just like the people questioned Jesus and wondered why he couldn't come sooner to heal Lazarus. Well, here's the good news. No matter what our sadness may be, Jesus is near us. Jesus will walk with us like he walked with Lazarus' friends and family. He will grieve with us as he did for Lazarus. Most things that make us sad may only be temporary, but in the moment they can weigh us down. We can remind ourselves that Jesus loves us and is always by our side. And knowing Jesus loves us can help us get through the sadness. Sadness comes unexpectedly. Sadness can ruin our day. Sadness can change our world. Knowing God loves us and will always be with us helps us while we are sad. Like our big answer says, knowing God loves me helps when I am sad. The first step to being confident in God's love for us is becoming part of God's family. We do that by saying that we're sorry for our sins and asking Jesus into our hearts. For us to ask Jesus to become our best friend. We couldn't be part of God's family on our own because of sin. Sin is when we choose to do our own thing or go our own way. And because of sin, because of that, we weren't able to be part of God's family. God didn't want that though. He wants us to be part of his family and that's why he sent his son, Jesus. Jesus came to this earth and died a painful death on the cross where he defeated sin and three days later he rose again. He paid our price. I want everyone to bow their heads and close their eyes and if you're sitting here today and would like to make Jesus your best friend and start following him, would you raise your hand all across the room, no one else looking around, and then we'll pray a short prayer together. Repeat after me. Say, Dear God, I believe that you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross for me. I'm a sinner and I'm sorry. Jesus, I give you my life. Be my Lord and my very best friend. In your name I pray, amen.